Congratulations on your new BioLite camp stove. The camp stove comes in two parts, the stainless steel fuel chamber and the orange power module. We've also included fire lighters and a double-ended USB cable. Like a car, the camp stove has a rechargeable battery to help with easy startup. Before your first use, we recommend that you condition the battery by plugging the power module into an external USB port. Just use the cable in your box. The light around the USB port will flash orange while charging. The light will become solid orange when the battery is ready for your first use. If you use the camp stove every six months, you won't ever need to repeat this step. The two parts of the camp stove pack together for compact storage. To put it together, just slide the power module into the stove body. Fully extend the folding legs to lock the power module in place. Put the stove flat on a level surface away from any overhanging branches and clear away dry brush on the ground around the stove. Have water nearby in case of an accident. Just like with any fire product, it's important to be safe and follow all local fuel and fire regulations. You'll want to gather small, dry fuel for the fire. If it's recently been raining outside, you may want to bring a little dry wood with you to help start the fire. Here's an example of wood that's good for burning. It snaps cleanly because it's well aged and it's very dry. Twigs that bend without breaking won't burn as well. We don't recommend using leaves because they tend to smoke. Fill the stove chamber loosely without blocking the jets on the side of the chamber. We recommend using a fire lighter to get the fire started, and we've included some in your box. Just light one end, let the flame get started, and then place it carefully in the fuel chamber. If you don't have fire lighter, you can also add small kindling or some paper to the top of the stove and light that with a match. Wait about 10 seconds, and then push the power button to start the fan on low. This creates the flow of oxygen to the fire to help start it quickly. As the fire builds, you can push the power button again to set it to high. You can start adding larger fuel at this point. Oak, maple, and other hardwood twigs are good to use because they're long burning. If it's windy, make sure the power module is not downwind. To cook, just place your pot directly on the pot stand. Line up the handle with one of the legs below. This keeps your pot handle out of the path of flame. With a strong fire, you can boil a liter of water in less than five minutes. As more fuel is needed, carefully lift the pot to add more wood. As the fire burns, you can push the power button to toggle between low and high. Use low to start the fire or when you want a less intense flame. To simmer, let the fire burn down and set the fan to low. You can start charging your devices when the light bar around the USB port changes from orange to green. Generally, this happens within about 10 minutes of starting your fire. Attach a USB cable to the port. Be careful not to touch any metal surfaces, which can be very hot. The camp stove can charge most USB chargeable devices. Some devices will charge continuously. Certain devices, such as smartphones, charge in regular intervals of boosted output. When you're done charging, remove the USB cord carefully. Pulling too sharply can knock over your stove. When you're done using the camp stove, just let the fire burn down to cold ash or bury live embers and extinguish with water. Never pour water into the stove because it could damage the stove's components. The power module will turn off automatically as the stove cools. To manually power off, hold the power button for three seconds. If the power module isn't cool enough yet and you attempt a manual shutdown, the fan may turn itself back on to protect the power module from the heat of the fire. Wait at least five minutes to see if the stove chamber is cool enough. Once it's completely cool, you can store the power module inside. Fold the legs down, remove the power module, and slide it into the stove chamber. Remember, it's important that the stove chamber is cool in order to protect the power module. Just slip your stove into your stuff sack, and you're ready to go.